Well, good morning. You joined me this morning on the banks of my local river ooze. It's a tad chilly. I'm um, sort of approaching now in the middle of November, and hopefully, one or two fish might be on the feed this week. It's been very, very tough going of late. Um, I had a tench last week, tench the week before, a couple of perch mixed into it, so it, you know, it has been sort of tench all bust. Um, but I've sort of been fishing about an hour. I've had a couple of roach. Got another fish on now. I've had a small perch. I've seen a lot of bream roll. The fish has just come off. Um, I've seen a lot of bream roll as well, which was uh, a bit of an eye opener, to be fair. Um, they were literally up the river, down the river, all over the place. So hopefully, there might be one or two fish on the feed. It ain't going to be straight away, I don't think, because it's the water's still really clear. But, like I say, we're getting one or two bites. So I've had a couple of roach, sort of 8 to 12 ounce. Small perch, and I'll just drop that fish off. And I've had a couple of bites as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, might be a little bit better this week. I've only set one rod up for now. I've got another rod by the side of me in the hold all. But I've set up a cadence. 12 foot number two feeder and I've got that with an ounce and a half tip I've got a CS10 4000 reel with six pound shock leader and five pound main line normal sort of setup I use two inch running link stop bead there I've got an ounce plug it feeder because it was running when I was tackling up I've um, got a twizzled loop, just a quick change Krilusu swivel connector there, 013 N gauge and a size 16 LWGF hook. A little bit heavier than what I normally use but there is a chance of tench and if you do hook a bonus fish sort of this time of the year you don't really want to lose it. But like I say I've got a, a lighter set up by the side of me if I need it. Uh, I've got 11 foot number one feeder and that if I set that up that'll just be four pound line 20 hook and a double pinky so we'll get this back out there at the moment I'm fishing the worm I'm fishing the worm tip with a red maggot um, like I say I've caught them a couple of roach so there's definitely one or two fish in the area so what I'm doing is just cutting the head off, hooking the worm, then just tipping it with a red maggot. Tiny pinch chop worm in with the ground bait. And like I say, I've got a fairly big feeder on to start with. I will drop that size down in capacity as we go on. I just wanted to get a bit of bait out there, sort of over the first first hour, hour and a bit. Then I'll probably drop down to a sort of smaller size feeder on the plug it, or even on a normal Nisa plastic open end feeder there. We've got that out in the swim. Ground bait today. Is Bait Tech Pro Natural Dark and Bait Tech Pro Natural Bream. As you can see there, it's a lovely dark mix. I've actually added a tiny amount of black dye to that as well, just to make it a tiny bit darker. Because the water has been very, very clear of light. And all I'm doing with that is just putting in a small tub by the side of me putting about three quarters of ground bait in and just topping it up as I'm going along. I've got some pinkies and some red maggots. I've got some dead reds and some dead pinkies there. Got a mat chop worm and I've got some wormies. So like I say we've got 
plenty of bait to ring the changes but I'm going to stop stick with the worm for the time being like I say I'm getting what I've had the odd bite you know not climbing up the line but it's been very tough of late so to get one or two bites so early in the session is you know very hopeful so when I got here there was a lot of fish sort of moving about they've eased off a little bit now since the as I was tackling up the water was actually moving um, that sort of slowed off a little bit now that is tripping through a little tiny bit but those fish have uh, is it starting to get light have sort of gone off the roll which is uh, which ain't a bad thing because uh, you ain't going to catch them when they're rolling but it's always nice to see an indication in a sign of a fish when you move to a new area that you never fished before um, I've always wanted to fish this area like I say it's, uh, it's a fairly uh, new area for me it's about I would say around about 16 foot something like that I'm fishing just about just past three parts and I've got that clipped up at the bottom of the bottom of the shelf there so I'm in the deeper water like I say if I set the other line up I'm going to have that sort of clipped up at the same distance but I'll probably also sort of cast down the middle and have a go it's a bite could have been a line bite there um, sort of cast down the middle and have a go double pinky just to see like so I've had a couple of roach just to see if there is any more roach in the area yeah I'd say that was a line bite there The wind's scheduled to be from the southeast today, which, as it sort of stands at the moment, I've sort of got me back to it. I've got my umbrella by the side of me if need be. Um, it is a little bit, little bit chilly around the old uh, ear holes, hence the reason the hat's on. It is that time of the year when the old warm clothing starts to come out. But said there might be a little bit of sunshine later so that will warm it up we've got the flask so we've had a couple of bites so hopefully things are looking good mr bond we'll see well we've had three or four roach uh, four perch pricked a couple of small fish off Drop one off, bring it in. So there's one or two in the air. I've had a couple of sort of missed bites on the worm, which will probably perch. Um, and also set the lot through the light rod set up out there. Um, I had a couple of smashed maggots. So there's one or two fish in the area. It's just getting them um, to gain a little bit of confidence to have a feed. The light set up, like I said before, is cadence. 11 foot number one feeder. I've got CS5 4000 reel with four pound main line. Just a small 22 gram Nisa on a running link. A couple of stots there, twizzled loop, same setup, quick change. And I've got a size 20 matrix super match hook and an 012 fluorocarbon. So it's a lot lighter setup than what I'm sort of on the worm. Well, I picked up a couple of fish on that quick, then it went quiet again, so I thought I'd just um, put the worm back out, sort of leave that out there about 10 minutes, just see what happens, and I'll pick the pick the lighter gear up and have another go on that again. Well, the old rods just launched round, like a method bite for a carp, and hopefully, this is what we've sort of set out for, which is Mr. Tencho. So take it nice and steady. There is some vegetation in close to be aware of, which is where he's going. Excuse me.
Tola ready. Yes, Tench. And it's in the net. <laughs> Get that bad boy. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. There it is. Beautiful River Ouse Tench, which I don't think I'm going to be able to hold up because it's now just woke up. Come on, here we go, up Here we go. Look at that, that gorgeous fish. Put a smile on old Stevie's face. Let's get in there see if we can get another one. Ooh, well, deep into the afternoon now. Uh, soon be the end of the session. The old sun sort of going round now into the west. In about another hour or so, that will probably be set uh, down below the bank. So yeah, it's, I'll probably add. I've had some roach. I've had some perch. I've had lovely tench. I've had one or two bites as well, which I've missed. A few line bites. Um, funny thing is, most of the fish are foul to um, two small pieces of worm. Uh, I've had a couple of fish on the pinky, on the lighter rod, but. Uh, most of the fish, most of the bites have been on double worm. A single worm, nothing, put a double worm on and get an indication. Sometimes I've been waiting sort of about eight, ten minutes for a small indication on the tip. You know, got a bite now. Missed that one. Ain't there about six minutes. But there's one or two fish about. It's mainly perch. But uh, having a few perch about is better than nothing at all. So I've had a few liners as well. Um, had a liner, last liner, probably about 10 minutes ago. Where literally the rod just pulled round, stopped, then dropped straight back. Yeah, it just shows there's definitely fish sort of mooching about in the area. What we're going to do, we're going to uh, sort of give it about 10, minute, 10 minutes or so on this cast and I'm going to get the uh, get the net out, put the fish back, put the net to dry wall, there's still a little bit of sun left and probably give it about an hour then be sort of heading off to home. But it's nice to be back out on the uh, on the river, nice and crisp. Any fish that you get, you know, you're working really hard for this time of the year. And the catching of tench lock I did earlier makes everything worthwhile. Uh, don't know where I am next week, um, whether I'm on the river or might be out and about somewhere, do something a little bit different. But, um, yeah, so it's been very enjoyable, like it always is when you're out and about. So if you don't enjoy it, then how much point going? You know, bite straight away again. I missed it. Some quick bites now. So I mean, a couple of quick bites there. It's got to be perch. Yeah, the worm is ragged out. So we'll put another couple of bits of worm on. So we'll probably have about sort of 10 minutes and I'll put the net to dry. We'll see if we can get one or two more fish then before we uh, head off for home. But if you've been out on the bank, hope you've had a great weekend and a good session. And we'll catch you next time about. Oosh. <laughs>